Okay, over here we have the the people, and over here we have the government. There we go. No more Wacos. Just say no to UN Agenda 21. That's what it's really about. That's what it's about. It's a pretense. They spent millions more than it would have cost them to feed the turtles that they're supposedly here to protect. The government is not here to protect the turtles. It is not here to protect the people. They are predators. They do have their own planes. There's a plane up there. Okay, this is the situation that's developing outside of Bundy Ranch. Again, last night Infowars.com broke the connections between Harry Reid, Rory Reid, his son, a Chinese solar company with a $5 billion contract, and documents from the BLM targeting the Bundy Ranch and his grazing rights, his water rights, as being an obstacle that they had to get away, they had to shut down before they could continue with their solar project. And the current head of the BLM is the, is the former chief staffer with Harry Reid. His fingerprints are all over this oppressive, militarized situation. We've got people who are walking out here on the range. I'm going to follow them. Now, what happened this morning after InfoWars broke that as uh, people have been covering it and as a massive amount of people showed up here to support Mr. Bundy from all over the country, as this was building with supporters, with information, the sheriff who would not even talk to us, who did not even have a prepared statement yesterday when we went down to ask him what was going on, they did not even have a prepared propaganda statement to give us. That sheriff came up this morning and with trembling hands read a press release from the BLM saying that they were going to open the range to his cattle. But as Josh Owens just stated, if you read the press release, and I have not had time to read the press release, we've been covering this live. He said if you read the press release, it says that there still remains issues that they believe that he owes them a million dollars. Uh, they still have their cattle. No mention was made of the cattle. Mr. Bundy did not ask for the cattle. What he asked was for the BLM to stand down, for the BLM to stop terrorizing the people here. Not long ago, just about six weeks ago, we had a young man who was on a bicycle. He was killed by the BLM at one of their roadblocks. And so we want to see that stop. We want to see the militarization of America stop. It needs to stop right here. It needs to spread across this country. We need to get people to stand up and oppose this kind of tyranny. This is the traffic jam that has been created on Interstate 15, just south of Mesquite, Nevada. Massive traffic jam. These cops are now trying to get through. They've turned on their lights and try to join up. We have a veritable army of local police over here they are not here to protect us against the BLM who has been terrorizing people. They are showing up to oppose the people who are peacefully walking to the area where the cattle are being held. And I'm here on that trail right now. But there's an army, a SWAT team, an army of police. I haven't seen any BLM people yet, and we do have a plane that is flying overhead. This was declared a no-fly zone yesterday same sort of treatment they give to the president when he arrives in an area and they put it on for pretty much an unprecedented amount of time for 30 days so here we have essentially the government of america stepping this up as if this was a foreign occupation and quite frankly it is a foreign occupation this is being done so that harry reed and his son can get a massive solar project for the Chinese energy company ENN on the Bundy Ranch. Infowars.com reported the story yesterday, the connection between this unethical deal and the Bundy Ranch. Police are putting on their, all the sirens that you hear in the background, those are the police trying to meet up with the other police. 
They have a staging area over here that is opposite, I guess, where the cattle are being held. Up there is a plane flying overhead and the no-fly zone, so we assume that is the government. being moved, they believe, and uh, there's some people ahead of us, and this is David Knight with InfoWars.com, we're in the area where we believe that they have uh, staged the cattle, there you can see the people ahead of us, we're in the area where they have staged the cattle that the BLM has rustled illegally off of public lands, they're asserting private ownership as if they were the king of England. You remember back before the Magna Carta, the king would not allow anyone on his lands. And that's what's happening here. Instead of obeying the enclave clause of the Constitution, the federal government has gone in most of these western states, in this state in particular, 90% of the land they have held, and they have essentially turned private property, private ranchers into enclaves. They have turned the Constitution on its head. They rolled back Runnymede and the Magna Carta. We see that we're losing the right to trial by jury, presumption of innocence. We see the NDAA. And we see the BLM that can go in and just confiscate cattle at will from people, point guns at people, tase uh, people. <laughs> when they tase the Bundys, uh, they tase them multiple times and still didn't take them down. They just took it out. These guys are tough. They're meek guys, but they are not weak guys. And they're standing tough. Mr. Bundy, as the sheriff was reading, the press release in the BLM stood there with his arms crossed and then said, here's what I want from you. I want the BLM weapons here in one hour. I want you, as sheriff, you have the obligation and the duty to protect your people. I want you to take down these checkpoints that they have set up in order to tax us, in order to brutalize us. And after that didn't happen, for well over an hour, he said, let's go get the cattle back. So that's where we're going on foot. Now there were a lot of uh, mounted cowboys that were there at the demonstration. They were able to get out of there before the cars did. I'm not sure if any of them are here yet or if they're still en route. It took a lot of us uh, a lot of time to get out of the traffic jam that was created at the site. And they may be able to take a shortcut and head us off to the pass, who knows. 